Amen. All right. So, uh, again, for tonight, we are going to do a prophetic team up front. So we have Scott, uh, Betty, and Beth. If you three of you would come up here. Um, what we're going to do, again, prophetic is for uh, strengthening, comfort, and encouragement. So we're going to pray and then uh, ask God to give them those words, and they'll have the microphone and just see where God leads us tonight. So, Lord, we thank you for what you are, again, doing in us, in our midst. And, Lord, we pray right now that you would just come and you would um, pour out your love on us as people, and I pray, God, that you would give them the right uh, words of strengthening, comfort, and encouragement we have tonight. We thank you for that in your name, Jesus. Amen. Okay, this is for the lady here. Do we, I saw you in the hallway at the beginning of the service. What's, what's your name? Yes. Marcy? Okay. Um, I saw you as a teacher and I feel like God's given you a really, like, a gift for imparting knowledge, and I feel like he's been putting you in places where he needs to get a message to someone, and you've been able to sort of um, give it to them in a very clear way for them to understand. Um, first of all, Jerry, I want to tell you that your flashlight's on your phone. So I want to let you know that it's turning on, so save some battery that way. Um, Marcy, I got a word for you, too, as she was speaking, and we had our conversation earlier when we were talking about somebody um, that, sh that we knew who, uh, s you know, spoke Afrikaans, was from South Africa and stuff, and um, just off the top first, do you know anybody or do yourself speak Afrikaans or anything from South Africa? Is that a connection at all with you? Okay, so I, d I didn't think it was. I wasn't saying it was, but I thought that um, God was just highlighting, sorry? Oh, you have? Cool. Well, not everybody can say that. That's on the list, you know, of things to do. But I think that God was just highlighting to me the conversation that we were having about language and just um, uh, uh, ministering to people in other countries or ministering to people from other con countries and being able to communicate well with people who may not have the same experiences or backgrounds as you. And I think God's just giving you or has given you um, this gift to be able to deal easily with people from other cultures, whether you go there, as you obviously have done once, but also just people who come to us from other countries and other cultures, etc. cetera, um, that just might be a gift that God is putting in you and maybe something you want to pray for more of or building up, that kind of thing. So, This is also for you, Marcy. <laughs> Poor Marcy. Um, while I was worshiping, the Lord brought it to my mind, and he said that you are a gatekeeper, you know. And to me, gatekeepers are those ones that are standing in the gap for salvation, restoration, restitution, and all that. And mostly, I felt like it was for your family. They are all going to come to the Lord because you are standing, because you are keeping on the gate, and you are standing at the gate, and you're praying, and you're, you know, through your actions and things like that, but they are going to come to you, and they are going to come to the Lord through you, through that gate. Anyone else? All right, this is for Alyssa Cressy. Um, I got the word savasana, which is uh, actually a yoga word, and I'm not advocating that anyone start taking yoga, savasana or shavasana which is the corpse pose. But um, basically, I feel like there's been a lot of times when you've had to die to self, and I felt like God was saying he sees that, he knows what's happened, and he knows that your heart is for the people that you've served and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. And then I also got that phrase um, from, I think it's in Matthew, that he who gives his life away will for his sake, will gain it, so. That's good. Nancy, it's your turn. Uh, what I got for you was uh, God was highlighting to me a conversation that I was having with somebody earlier, and we were talking about the sights that go on a rifle to allow someone to aim a rifle, and we were talking about a specific kind of sight that's um, made by a company, and it's called a Romeo, 
And so the site allows people to aim very, very precisely. But what's neat is they make another product that puts a magnifier in front of it and allows you to see much, much further. That item is called the Juliet. So you get the Romeo and the Juliet, and you can see very, very accurately and shoot very, very accurately. And I think that God was showing that to me for you, saying in your role, I know you're an intercessor, obviously, I already know that. Um, but in your role as an intercessor praying for people, he's going to give you the kind of um, the kind of capabilities and insight that you need to be able to target very, very specific things for prayer, even at remote, remote distances. And I think that the reason he highlighted to me the Romeo and the Juliet, because that's a love story. And I think he was just telling me that the more you draw near to God and the more you... Um, the more you draw near to him in love and express your love to God and Jesus, the more he's going to give you the ability to magnify and see that. This word is also for you, Nancy. <laughs> While I was worshiping, I looked at you and I saw you with different glasses and the Lord said to me that he was going to give you new glasses so you can see things through his perspective with all the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding. You know, you're going to see things things different, not with your own mind and heart, you know, it's going to be explained differently. All right, this is for the guy behind Alyssa, the, yes, you, what was your name? Colin, okay, um, I got The Fall Guy, <laughs> which I know they're making a movie about it, when I was younger, it was a TV show, and I know it's about a stuntman, and I feel like God's was revealing that there's been a lot of times when you have um, taken all the risks but gotten none of the glory and that um, God is using those moments to build character in you um, and he's going to eventually push you towards the front and make sure that you get what you need. I also felt like there was a boundary rule or word in that of making sure that you maintain your boundaries and you know your worth. Because someone who's a really good stuntman is irreplaceable. Like, you you got to be you gotta be good and you have to know your stuff and you deserve to be paid what you're worth. <laughs> Floyd? Is that your name? Floyd. Fleming. Fla Flaming. Um, the Lord said to me, you know, in Ecclesiastic 3, says there is a season for every time, time to weep, time to laugh. He says that, um, how do I explain it? That your time of waiting, you're being waiting, I don't know what for, but you're being waiting for something to happen, and your time of waiting is about finish. So you be on expecting something is about to change. All right, thank you, team. All right. And thank you, streamers, for being with us tonight. We're glad that you were able to share in. And we'll be back uh, Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Again, Randy and Dawn should be here, barring any uh, unforeseen flight changes or problems. But we prayed against that. So they will be here Sunday morning, 10 a.m. God bless you. <laughs>